the love it soul is encoding shamanic peacemaker so welcome to my channel today we're gonna do um a pop-up love reading we want to know about your person and their feelings toward you right this minute what are they contemplating please we want to know these are the sacred power reading cards okay so pulling in the energy here divine consciousness communication okay all right and uh we have change and truth coming in intimacy and abundance and affirmations so <laughs> okay i'll pull this down now don't worry <laughs> wow i feel like this should go here okay so this is a beautiful energy and also a little uh, a little um mm, the energy uh, when thoughts are built up and uh, and your body sort of reacts to it a little bit it's like uh, and something has to happen something has to change here uh, and i need to say something i need to tell you the truth i need to pull off that mask and um and talk to you about what I have been manifesting or wanting or dream, dreamed about. Um, I'm thinking of you. I, I, um, emotionally and I'm, I'm longing for you physically and emotionally. And, um, and I feel like that you and I could create just a lot, like everything. Um, this is sort of a, a gift handed from God. I feel like my soul sort of knows and understands that, that this is uh, more than anything I've ever tried before. And I'm, I've never like experienced this type of feelings before. And I sort of can't ignore them. I know I've been wearing a mask. I know I've been withdrawing from you, but it has to do with the strength uh, and the feelings I've been feeling that I actually didn't know exactly where to put, how to trust them. Because these feelings are new to me, completely new energies. I've never tried them before. So it's like, like a baby. <laughs> the first time they, you know, take their first step, it's a little, ooh, a little scary and a little wobbly. But it's exciting because at the other end of the first step, perhaps there is mommy and grabbing them <laughs> and you want it. You want to go towards your mommy saying, come here, come here. <laughs> you can do you can do it. You can walk. <laughs> and, and so this is type, the type of energy that's coming in here. It's like, whew, it's scary, but okay. Uh, uh, I really want it. I really want to go there. I, I want to go with it. <laughs> Okay, I love that little um, uh, narrative there. <laughs> okay, so you guys, uh, we'll, we'll be using the tarot and to see uh, um, a little bit more and dig deeper into this. We have uh, the Ace of Swords. Okay. Um, and we have the Hanged Man. So this goes well with communication. The Ace of Swords, there's clarity now. And they know what they want to say. And the hanged man is, you know, um, having uh, the new perspective now. Um, getting clear on what it is that they really want. Um, but it is like a life-altering choice to pull that mask off and to communicate 
truly um, what it is that they're feeling. Okay, so let's clarify the truth here. Six of Cups. So the truth is that they know you from somewhere. Like you've lived together in past lives. And they can't do anything about it. Like they have had thousands of lives with you. Your souls are connected. And they are figuring out how to come in. Uh, I don't know if you sort of broke up or whatever, but it's like they will will come in in a new way than they have done up until now. That's what I'm getting. Okay? Um, and the Six of Swords here is... Um, well... Uh, I have been I've had to work on you know uh, taking that mask off and um, but I had a talk with God about it <laughs> and uh, and you helped me you helped me do it because um, I feel like you're there work is, is working like a guide to them to actually uh, Well, shed their skin or the, their old self or something like that. Okay. Um, we have the Knight of Pentacles here. Um, this Knight of Pentacles has been healing and uh, clearing their chakras. <laughs> and uh, it's taken time. Look at all these round um circles in these two cards they go together spirits say so um if this knight of pentacles has been slow which is typical for this knight uh it, it is because they have been doing this they have been actually aligning all of their chakras and uh clearing them okay all right so um Let's move on here. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, two of Pentacles, again, gaining balance. They are in more circles. They're gaining balance with this Two of Pentacles. I don't feel like this is about a choice because it doesn't seem to me that there is a choice to be made because this is something uh, well that came from the divine with this divine consciousness and the abundance card down here um, so it's more to obtain balance within oneself okay and uh, to um, allow these uh, heavy thoughts to fly away and to and to say you know what uh, I'm, I'm letting go of my fears I'm letting go and I'm growing up I'm becoming the king of Pentacles I'm no longer the the slow <laughs> knight of pentacles uh, i'm becoming this king of pentacles now they're grown up they're growing up and then the magician comes in here now i know i have all the tool tools i need to actually um get to where i want and the temperance card comes in um and it gives me uh, an energy of now they on on the abundance card now they recognize that this is a soulmate relationship right it is when oil and water mixes really good together even though it seems impossible because look it's brought from the angels michael came in and said 
here you go. Here you have each other, right? And this is, well, God handing you <laughs> this love, right? So um, I, I love these suns. Lots of joy is coming in, right? And they understand that you make them happy. They think that you make them happy, all right? And everything is sort of going full circle here. It's coming full circle with all these circles and suns and coins. And, um, and the coins are telling me that, um, that they are um, pulling this divine relationship into the third dimension now. That there is a part of them that knows that they know you from the fifth dimension, from the other side. Um, that your souls know each other, but now they want to practice, put it into practicality and bring it into the third dimension and start, um, well, I feel like um, being together in, in, in life and, uh, and dating you for real or um, having sex with you or whatever, you know, um, just... Um, being your boyfriend, girlfriend, um, they want to um, really do this, I'm getting here, okay? Um, and they know they have to shed that mask and be who they are. They are becoming stronger. They are the king of pentacles and the magician, so they are like... Uh, I'm done hiding, I'm done changing, um, uh, and then we have Four of Cups and Queen of Cups. And the reason why they have let you, um, well, wait, I'm hearing, is because they were a little scared that you didn't want them and you didn't love them. Be but they see you as this beautiful Queen of Cups, and now they're certain that they just can't miss this. They just can't miss this um, because if they do, you know, it will break their heart with the Five of Cups. It, it will break their heart. And they have been scared. What if you hurt me? What if you pull out? What if you ghost me? What if you say no? They have known for a long time, I'm hearing, that it will break their heart. And they come out here as the king of swords. That's why they have been thinking and thinking and thinking a lot about this. And uh, instead of feeling it, instead of putting this down into their heart and just feeling it, they've been thinking about it. And they've stayed uh, clear of feeling and um, going to their heart. Um, because the king of swords is all up in the mind, right? Uh, I don't know, how, how can this work? Well, well, they're so different from me and they, 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 their life is so like this and that and my life is so like that. Blah. So we're so different. We are the sun and the moon. We're oil and water and we don't fit, we don't mix, <laughs> okay? Um, but uh, God... God sees this differently, spirits say. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. God sees this differently. And they're sort of recognizing it because now we have the fool on top and the king of cups. The fool is taking a chance, right? And saying, I'll go for it. I can't hold myself back anymore. I won't hold myself back anymore. And the King of Cups matches this Queen, right? So we have a royal pair here. These two are heavily in love. They're lovey-dovey. They're all over each other. They're mesmerized. They are <laughs> talking about it. They're talking about their emotions. They're saying it out loud. And the Four of Wands <laughs> uh, is in the top underneath the Fool. So we're just really going there. We're going for it. Okay. Um, I really love this. I really love this. 
Um, and then we have the tower. <laughs> I love how it comes out now because the four of wands is uh, the marriage card. This is, okay, I'm going for it. Wow, and uh, now everybody will know what we did and that we're together and a little scared and what will people say? And the tower, sort of the sensation is, whew, you know, uh, speaking this out loud is like, uh, is it, is, is it, um, well, when I say something, you know, what will happen? They are like, what will happen? Will I get my heart broken or will, you know, will it will it feel like, you know, uh, Thunderbolt City? I, I finally, we're both talking and we're so in love and you, you tell me that you uh, reciprocate my feelings and emotions and then this tower stands for love. Or will it stand for heartbreak? Ah, I'm, I'm not sure. But they know deep down in their soul that there will be justice here. It's right underneath the king and the, and the queen of cups. And they know, they actually do know, also with this six of cups, that you are soulmates. Something tells them that, that you are, okay? Um, and that's what makes them actually make their move in the end. This is what brings them the courage, the wisdom that comes from deep inside of their soul. This is what will make them finally come forward and say, you know what, I love you, I've loved you forever, I just really want you, I'm, I have all these feelings for you, I just want you to know, uh, I'm, I really hope you also feel the same. Um, I've been so scared of saying them, I'm so sorry, I've been wearing this mask for so long and it took so long, um, but uh, I'm finally uh, actually recognizing with the Empress here, <laughs> Uh, that I can't do anything but tell you uh, how much I love you, how much I adore you. You come in as the Empress and the High Priestess and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So uh, your energies are really high vibrational and that's why uh, it's taking them so long <laughs> i'm hearing like wow i've never seen this felt this um, tried this ever before how can i come in this this person is like so over my league <laughs> uh, what will they expect of me will they expect too much of me am i enough for them and um, but this queen of cups you you will say of course you're enough you've always been enough and i don't know why you ever doubted that or i understand why you doubted it because you just had to align your frequency toward mine. And I had to align my frequency toward yours because I had to get to a point where I stopped attracting people who ghost me or reject me. Hmm? Um, and you are there now, you are this empress, you are this beautiful high priestess, which is, you have both feet on, on the ground and you also have direct contact spirit here. This is a new beginning and a new beginning with the magician over here. All right. And a, this is a divine couple. It's beautiful. No, the high priestess, I mean, the, with, the, with the, the high priestess and the magician, this is a divine couple. So the, uh, the magician is... Um, uh, more about the material and the high priestess is about the spiritual so this is such a beautiful um, 
you know, partnership. Because one is the sun and one is the moon. This is temperance right here. This is um, a twin flame energy, actually. Um, or high level soulmate. Okay. Wow. And now they come in here with the judgment card, which is I changed my perspective upon what I was able to, what I was able to actually reach within myself, they're saying. Not that they changed for you, but they sort of let their soul enter uh, into their third dimension here. Uh, understanding that to be in a divine partnership, you also have to trust that you come from the divine, right? And that you are so much uh, enough and you are uh, more than enough for, for such a beautiful, high-frequent relationship here. Um, and they are just saying, I understand now that I don't need to wear my mask anymore. I don't need to wear my mask anymore. Mm. Okay. So, uh, Six of Pentacles, they're saying, I will come in uh, and give as much as you. So, there will be... Um, Balance between giving and receiving. Uh, I know that you're part of my future. And I know that you and I are destined to be together. And I really want to come in as fast as possible here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four more cards. St strength, the chariot, ace of cups and two of cups. So uh, most definitely we have here um, them saying I'm building up my strength to come forward. When I come forward, I will share the love I feel with you and, and I will ask if you want to go steady. <laughs> the two of cups. <laughs> okay. So um, all of this is uh, inside of them. Is something that they're thinking about, something that's going on here, okay? This person truly does love you. They just have to uh, give themselves time to get around to coming in, but I feel like they are planning something. Um, we just had a reading the other day and it is, it was sort of the same energy. Um, that they are contemplating heavily uh, how to come in, planning, they're planning uh, exactly what to say and when and how <laughs> to do it, okay? So, um, well, you guys, I like it. Let's do some divine timing. <laughs> These are my cards. Let's see. What does it say about when? When are they ready to come in here on this chariot here? <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> I think we had that one yesterday. Now we're the other day. Spring, so you might have met them in spring or it might actually um, fit all the time. Yeah, you are definitely soulmates. Mm. Timing has a surprise in store for you. Okay. Yeah, so this person is most definitely um, uh, planning something. Okay. And uh, Lean back and clear your thoughts until then. And uh, when it happens, it's the perfect time. All right. 
you guys it's um uh, I, i'm hearing you don't have to do a thing you don't have to do a thing you just have to be yourself and have fun and you know enjoy hanging out with them when you're with them and and then um, when it happens it's the perfect time all right patience is needed here so and patience it's like it's not like you need to have patience for a year or two years it's like you know what when it comes to love you know an hour can be too much <laughs> right so uh, so patience is just I have a little while longer I'm hearing, okay? Um, a surprise is coming soon, yeah. And July, <laughs> sooner than you think. <laughs> I love it. So, um, because we're in June still, right? Uh, uh, so, um, but you take it as it resonates. If you watch this video in another month in June, then it's like next month or, yeah, you know? Um, and April, you know, spring, you know, it can also be about something else. So, uh, okay. So, I love your readings. Uh, I've loved your readings lately because there's so much energy. There's so much twin energy, so much soulmate energy, so heavy, heavy love and really connections divine connections this year is just really crazy so um well thank you so much for watching you guys and uh well um i wish you all the best here and um, i do personal readings right now with a discount instead of um 111 us dollars for um a one hour love reading it's down to 70 this summer okay so if you need a reading then just contact me on my email address which is below in the description box okay i'll see you next time you guys take care <laughs>